Hello and welcome everybody to this session on categorical prosentropy. So we'll be studying about what is categorical prosentropy. Since you should be aware that prosentropy is the distance of actual probability from predicted probability. Why we use probability here? Because we cannot find the distance of actual values from the predicted values since there are no numbers to calculate y minus y hat. It's the class classification problem. It's the loss function of a classification problem. So we cannot find a distance because we do not have any number. So what do we do in categorical cross-entropy? Generally, categorical cross-entropy is used for multi-class problem. multi-class classification problem. Wherever you have more than two classes, there you use categorical cross-entropy. So what do we do in it generally? Let's suppose we have a probability distribution. Let's say this is the predicted probability distribution of um, say P1, P2 and P3. If you can see, this is three class. So it's a multi-class problem, right? And at the same time, we know it's actual probability also because we have actual values available to us. And let's say we denote it by y1, y2, and y3. So what do we do in categorical cross-entropy generally? We calculate categorical cross-entropy of this, the two probabilities as it's written as minus y of t log of where this y of t determines all the actual values and log of p determines all the predicted values. So if we have to expand this, we can simply write it as, let's say we take minus common y1 log of p1 plus y2 log of p2 plus y3 log of p3. So for now, for the time being, we only have three classes. Let's say it's apple, banana, and orange, anything, whatever three classes you have, we'll only use three terms. But it is not restricted to only these many terms. As many terms as you have, you can find this categorical cross entropy for all the values you have, all right? This is the categorical cross entropy of only one point. But since we have to find a loss function, a cost function, that is the combination of all these points. So generally what we do is we do minus 1 by n, where n determines the number of data points you have. I write it down here. n is total number of data points. And here we do the summation of this y of log of p. This is how you determine your categorical cross entropy. Okay, so remember, if you have a multi class problem, and you want to calculate its cost function or loss function, you use categorical cross entropy, where you mention this total number of data points to actual probability distribution of actual values to the log of probability di distribution of predicted values. Okay, Right? Thank you for this session.